Uh, Adrian Rurafe. Nā koe, Mr. Speaker. Uh, o te rā tēnā tātou katoa i tēnā i rā hoka hira hira. Uh, Mr. Speaker, it is a, uh, I stand with my colleagues in support of this bill. Uh, this is not about us making it difficult or it's not about us um, um, not trusting our people. We do trust our people, sir. Uh, this, uh, our position on this bill is to make it the best legislation that it possibly can. <coughs> And in saying that, sir, I too want to talk about the status of land. Uh, we are talking in this instance about uh, uh, general freehold land uh, at the time that the principal um, act, uh, act was passed into legislation that was then transferred and made uh, Māori freehold land. This particular um, bill changes that and gives the opportunity for that, the, those particular lands that were once general freehold land transferred um, in the Principal Act to become Māori freehold land and now under this bill can become general freehold land again. Um, <coughs> sir, uh, what I would ask the House and the uh, select, com select Committee to consider is what was the original intent of the principal bill in making that determination of changing it from general freehold land to Māori freehold land. And I would suggest, sir, that the intent was to protect the land from alienation. Sir, we see a number of uh, bills that, uh, settlement bills that come through this House that address that very issue the issue of alienation of Māori freehold land. And so I, I um, encourage the Select Committee to take a, a, a very close look at that particular um, issue, sir. Um, <coughs> I also want to talk about the, um, the governance aspects of this uh, bill. Um, the changes uh, to me uh, look like that they will give a lot more scope for the governors, uh, governance of these uh, lands. I, I apologise for interrupting the member, but it is kai time. I will resume the chair at 7.30.